everybody this is Shanita welcome back to another video I am so glad that you're here this video is going to be part two of a video that I did last week y'all I don't even think I posted that video it is the video of me showing you the body butters that I have in my stash it is another sad secret obsession and so I have quite a few of them as I was going through them and trying to decide one day which ones to use I realized yeah, I may have more than I needed and so I know that some of you are body butter lovers and also and so I decided that I record them and show them to you and so the first part is in another video which if I haven't published I certainly will immediately and then this one is part two so I didn't want to make that video just so crazy long I have the remainder of those butters and I'm going to show you in this video if you've never been here before this is an interesting one for you to stop in on I am typically talking hair which before I go any further this hair is from Char Naturals uh, NYC because someone always comes on and um, ask because I forget to say so and I'll put the website to the uh, video if I've posted it but definitely the website down in the description box so be sure to check them out this came out really really nice I really really love how soft and conditioned it is this is about these butters and so if you are not a butter person I know that you are in some way moisturizing your skin because our skin tends to be a little bit drier anyway add the cold weather onto it and you probably got a ashy dehydrated mess so i'm going to show you what i use on some of these cold days when my body needs a little bit something extra other than lotion if you're interested in seeing this stack of body butters then stay tuned okay the first video that i did you guys ended up a little long i'm gonna try not to make this one as long even though there are more butters in this stash than there was the uh first episode so i'm just gonna jump into it okay um, the first one I'm pulling out is from Product Junkie Naturals. It is from their Skintimate line. This is the blend of butters that they um, sell as part of this line. And it comes in different fragrances. Mine is in the Star Fruit and Mango fragrance. And this has in it Cocoa Butter, Shea Butter, Mango Butter already sounds like heaven and then there's glycerin aloe vera gel avocado oil emulsifying wax fragrances and optifin um this butter oh it smells so good it does smell like a jolly rancher oh it smells so good it smells like a jolly rancher but i just realized i have not used it before so you can see in it how thick it is you know when product junkie naturals do products they do, do not skimp on the moisture. You get tons, tons of rich product in there, especially the butters. And so just the butters in this alone sounds great. The other added items, I know it's going to be wonderful. If I come across something, you guys, that you specifically want me to try to let you know how it is, comment that down below. Like if I say something and you think, okay, I don't care about most of them, but that particular one I'm curious about. Let me know if I've used it before, I will definitely let you know. And then if I haven't, I will use it especially for you. That will make it easy for me to decide which ones I'm going to use. Um, here is another one from Butter, it's the same one from Product Junkie Naturals. This one is called Slap That Ass Clean. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know why she named it that. I don't. Um, this one is another one that I haven't opened yet, but same ingredients as the other one, just a different fragrance. Yes. And, I, and this actually says that the butter can be used from head to toe as a body butter and hair butter. I don't think I ever paid that attention, but I don't doubt that. Like all these butters and then aloe vera gel and this will give a bomb twist out. Oh my gosh, I don't think I ever knew that. As if their hair products wasn't good enough. Now you can use the body products for hair products. Just go figure, go figure. Okay, here is one called Sea Minerals Renewing Body Butter from Mana Kador. Kadar. This one came from my eBay haul where I show you 
not the last one, but this is the one that I tried the first time when I bought the uh, box of samples from the lady on eBay who had all of these amazing high-end samples and trial size items to buy. I will put that video down in the description box. I haven't opened this one, but this is an item that actually she threw in for free, which really worked since I love body butter so much. Um, thank goodness body butters have a little bit more shelf life than uh, hair products that is mixed with a lot of water. So I will see what this is like. It sounds very, very good. I did see some of the ingredients in it that includes seawater, obviously, shea butter, there's glycerol stearate, uh, Lorth 25, PEG 100, there is... Not a whole lot of other things that I recognize. That probably is why I haven't been in a rush to use it, but I will eventually. This one is Rose Petal Whipped Body Butter from, I know, it doesn't have the name on it. I remember this company. I remember, Saint Amour, that's what it is. Saint Amour, I won this in a giveaway from her. A little earlier this year, her company is fairly new. The ingredients in this was amazing and, um, she is, she's got some items on sale now, you guys. I will definitely put her website down in the description box for you. If you go to her website and then, I don't know whether it's on a clearance or discontinued items, but I saw the other day that she has quite a few items that she's added to the website and she is actually discontinuing some things and they are on the website. A lot of it is um, lip gloss and um, in oil. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Be sure to check her out. Great, great prices. But she sent me this and it is one of the best body butters I tried in 2020. Love this. I'm so impressed that this is her first go round with this. Like this is her coming out with her new company. Very impressed with this. So good and smells so good. Nice and silky. It is uh, shea butter, mango butter, sweet almond oil, arrowroot powder, fragrance oil and mica. It is a wonderful, wonderful body butter. Here is another one from the um, lady who sends me this stuff from eBay. This one is called Mademoiselle Province. This is made in France. It is clean. There's no parabens, silicones, petroleum, paraffin, sulfates, or phthalates. The writing is tiny and I cannot read it much. It says, this unique whipped texture is the perfect way to immerse yourself in the floral delight that is our ultra smoothing body bath. Enriched with organic rose and peony extracts that intensely nourishes dry skin, leaving it refreshed and radiant. I have not opened this yet. So it is in the fragrance rose and peony and it has shea butter in it. There is glycerin, there is sunflower oil, Rose extract. Yeah, what do I put myself in this trying to read this stuff? Okay, I'm just, it's, it's a clean product. It is natural, it is not organic, and it is not like every scientific word on here I recognize, but it is an all natural company. I did use, I mean, I noticed that when I got it. I looked it up to decide if I was going to even keep it or not and decided based on the company and the ingredients that I would. So let's trust that it is okay. And again, Mademoiselle Province is the name of the company. This is their whipped balm. That is what it looks like. Okay. Here is one that I bought just for Black Friday, um, a company I was not looking to buy from and they had a great sale. I'd been seeing them on Instagram over and over again and decided to try this. This is from Mar Allo Boutique and this is their body butter. This looks so, so, so good. A lot of the writing is in yellow, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to even try to do that, but very, very unique, clean all natural products. She has some body stuff. I bought a couple of these and I believe I bought a hair item, but I am really looking forward to using this. In fact, I was waiting to show you guys so that I could start using that. I'm really, really excited about that. I don't know how this got in here. These are deep conditioners. Yeah. No wonder my container looks so heavy. This one is Annabelle's Cashmere Icing. 
This is another one of my favorites from her. I love her Extreme Hydration Butter that is um, made for hair, but you can also use on your body. All her butters you can use on your body, and I have not had a single problem with them. They work on my hair. They definitely work on my skin. This one has shea butter, maru maru butter, honey sapote oil, mongogo oil, marula oil, raw local honey and fragrance and this is another one of those as well that can just says you can use it on hair or skin i try to keep these closed as long as i can if i'm not if i haven't used it yet so i'm not going to open this but oh my gosh this smells so good the other item that i use that has the same fragrance smells amazing and for those of you who have tried it you already know what i'm talking about it is phenomenal phenomenal moisturizer I got deep conditioners mixed up in here. I don't know how. Here is Coils by Nature. This is their hair and body butter. This is in Heavenly Delight. And this is actually more of a spring, summer fragrance. They change these out from season to season. I actually use this on my hair uh, on video. There is a Coils by Nature um, video here. And I will link it in the description box as well. Why not? So that you can see it if you've never heard of that brand before. She is a black woman uh, who owns this company who is also a veteran and I don't see a whole lot about it. I hardly ever hear people talk about it, but there's some amazing products on the uh, website and there are frequent sales there that you can always get some sort of discount. But this particular butter, let's see if this is the one I opened or not. It is. So this must be the one that I actually ended up styling with. But it has in it, I remember it being very, Firm, yeah, it is. It's a very, very firm butter. So if you're gonna use one of these on your hair, you want to make absolute sure that you've got a really good hydrating leave-in to use under it, uh, because this is heavenly moisturizing. And so you wanna be sure that your hair has plenty of um, water and flexibility in it before you put this on top. But this is shea butter, coconut butter, mango butter, coconut oil, aloe vera, no, sorry, aloe butter, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and fragrance. So you see why it would make an amazing hair butter, but it also feels great on the skin. Great on the skin because it's so butter filled and packed with so many different butters and oils. It's heavy and it makes a very good sealer on your hair and also the skin. Here is one of my butters that is a um, retail one. This is from the First Aid Beauty brand. This is their Ultra Repair Cream. In the other video, I believe I showed one or two butters that I kept that were retail brands that I bought in stores and they were natural enough that I felt comfortable using. I went through one time and just cleaned out all my chemically laden products and so there were a couple that I decided to keep based on the ingredients and this was one of them this has a uh, colloidal oatmeal in it and it is made for sensitive skin it has no parabens no harmful chemicals no colorants and it talks about being nice and soothing with ceramides and oatmeal that is good for dry itchy distressed skin I I use this I have I can't remember I got this from TJ Maxx or Marshall's every now and then I'll go in there and they will have these on clearance so it is a heavy it's heavy for them I think it's very whipped and feels really really light but it has a nice nice kick of moisture in it I can put this on and not feel like I have to moisturize again uh, the same day now that's saying something if I can put a butter on overnight and in the morning my skin is still um, nice and moisturized or if I can put it on in the morning and by evening it's still moisturized to me that's a great great butter I cannot do that with most lotions and so I can get that out of here so it is very good do you ever see it in there on clearance you should try it of course it's not as heavy and concentrated as one of those natural butters from one of those other companies but it it holds its own I like it a lot this one's from nature's shea butter this is all natural shea butter only and it is coconut mango flavored flavored fragranced and this is a company that I buy from that I found 
oh my gosh, on Oprah years, years ago. And I always keep some of their shea butter in my house because it is so, so good. It is the special unrefined butter that they get directly from their sources in Ghana. And they really, really pay homage to those women. And they're always advertising and going there and doing things to help them. And part of their proceeds go to them. And there's just a little blurb there about that African shea butter. And it shows that in here, the only thing is the unrefined shea butter and the mango coconut fragrance oil. The thing I love about this is, again, this is a butter that lasts forever. There's no preservative. It's nothing but butter. The first one I got held for the longest, and up until I used it all, it held its fragrance. It held its moisture. It never got hard and stiff, and when you get this out, it melts so, so easily. So it is a different source of shea butter from where we would typically get them. It is definitely not your uh, beauty supply store shea butter. This is uber duper soft and silkening and it does have a special different kind of texture to it don't let yourself be fooled to think that all shea butters are the same they are not there are some that is definitely of a higher quality that's just more soft and it's it feels totally different and this is one of those i will link it in the description box i think they're having a 40 percent off sale right now actually i still get their emails and when i get low i always get a little bit more here is my whipped shea butter from Mama Sonia's. This is from the brand House of Taranga. This is a local company uh, to me that I started buying from a, a farmer's market. And she has now opened up a store. And uh, she sells a lot of these items and I'm so, so thrilled. She is a traditional, traditional African woman who wears her African uh, garb. And she has this beautiful silky midnight skin that is just absolutely perfect and she has taken a lot of her family's traditions and she moved here for whatever reason praise god and she has opened up a store here and i show you guys in a video about the brand itself because you can't order online and get it delivered about their lotions well their butters and african black soaps that i use religiously on my skin and how it has changed my skin the whole history of the what i know about the company and the products are in that video and i'll put it down below but this is the fragrance lick me all over she does these in different sizes and there's some for women there's um, male scents and the scents are absolutely extravagant no matter what i smell i love it they're all different but it's this strong potent especially the men's fragrances oh my gosh the sexy smell is just breathtaking breathtaking so if there is a man in your life who's been dipping in your shea butter and you want him to smell downright irresistible be sure that you check out the house of taranga video below here is the Choco Chocolate Royal Butter from the brand Yamoni Essentials. This is another brand that I use products for earlier in the year. I will link the video as well so that you can find their website and information about them. Um, she started kind of with, it's just another one of these success stories. It started with just a few little items here and there. And this particular one is a mix of butters and coconut oil. That's it. Cocoa butter, mango butter, shea butter, and coconut oil. And there's some essential oils in here. And I use this in my hair as a styler. Loved it so much, but it is also a um, body butter that you can use anywhere. Now she has makeup, she has skincare, she has every imaginable hair product, and she is very active on Instagram. I'll put her information down there as well. You can't see. I talked to her about the labels and how it just did not contain enough information to make us comfortable. <laughs> so she did do the labels after that, and I'm so, so happy. So you can see that she is listening to feedback and changing. So this is how much of this I've used. Because it is butter and just one oil, it is super duper heavy and moisturizing. So um, you can use it in your hair. You just have to make sure again that it is nicely hydrated. But this is so, so great if you live in cold weather and you tend to get, you know, dry skin because of the dry air or just you want to make sure you stay nice and moisturized as you go out. This is a wonderful, wonderful butter. And the last one I have is called Body Boost. 
this is a stretch mark butter this is like the third butter that I've shown you guys that is aimed towards stretch marks I do not have zero problem with stretch marks being on a butter as is marketing because you know stretch marks or scars or whether they be acne scars whether they be just accidents I had spots on my legs I said in the other video from shaving back when I didn't know what I was doing I have um, some from falling from roughhousing with my kids that I had some scars from and so I use a lot of shape stretch mark butters that um, on that part of my body trying to slowly fade those scars and they are fading there's one in the other video from Alake Naturals and also uh, Baskin Bloom but this one is not a black owned company the name of the company is Body Boost Body Boost NYC is the name of it and I found out about this one on TV they advertise the their butters and oils on GMA one morning and talked about how much you get this collagen and elastin boost from it and I bought it this is the lavender vanilla thinking based on the price at the time it was 50% off that I was gonna get this little four ounce container of butter and then I got this huge eight ounce thing of butter that is just magnificent I was so tickled and I also got the matching oil to it it says this whipped shea butter blend with breakthrough ingredient Go to cola helps promote the build of collagen and es collagen and elastin essential for skin and strength. Helps prevent and improve the appearance of stretch marks, scars, and damaged jojoba and rich botanical oils. Replenish moisture for soft, nourished skin. Say goodbye to the itchies. This pure skin nourishment for better stretch and bounce back. And the ingredients in it, I'll give you the first five because it is not like 100% wonderful and all butters like the other ones are. Water, isopropyl, myristate, satiro alcohol, glycerol, stearate, and stearic acid. So a little further down, it has grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, borage oil, uh, shea butter oil, camellia oil, rosehip oil. So it has some great things in it. And um, these other chemical names on here I am completely comfortable with triglycerides and acetyl excuse me acetyl esters and whatnot so this is that and I will also put this brand down here just in case you want to look and you're interested and keep watch on them because they do also run sales because they are a company that you can only find online so you can get items from them directly at a premium sometimes so be sure to check that out and that's it you guys that is the butters that I've got in my little stash over the last this is really over 2020 everything I showed you I bought over 2020 I told you I got a problem it's so hard to decide which ones to use sometimes but I love 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 body butters I guess having dry skin there is just nothing more satisfying than like scratching that itch right getting a nice thick layer of butter and rubbing across that damp skin straight out of the shower and get that skin some relief and get it to moisturize and you know you're doing something great for your skin anyway because there are vitamins and minerals in there that is so so nourishing to your skin that is antioxidant and also uh, anti-aging and it's just fabulous for our skin so what are some of your favorite butters? I want to know if you are a shea butter, I mean, a body butter nut like I am, let me know. Um, but if you have some favorites that you like to share, then I would love, love to know some of those. If there are some that I didn't call it out, especially, I'm always willing to check out others. So be sure to share with us. And thank you so much for tuning in. You can add any feedback that you'd like down in the um comment box as long as it is constructive and helpful or entertaining or informative please feel free to chat with us down in the comment section i appreciate you guys being here be sure that you're subscribed so that you can be around for more videos i don't really have a whole lot of other body skincare stuff from now going forward for a while we're going to be talking here so, so let's get ready to get our hair in the healthiest shape that we can in 2021 we are at the beginning of a new start and it is a great time to start something new and adventurous and have something to pamper and look forward to that you're nourishing. There's something about that that just makes you feel good. Gives you something to look forward to. And I enjoy doing that with you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.